After months in a wheelchair, Angela Oakley is learning to walk again, thanks to her new prosthetic knee. Oakley became an above-knee amputee in March after years of battling a bone infection. A veterinarian and athlete, she's eager to return to the activities she loves. But her new computerized knee cost $57,000. A provincial grant covered only 10% of the cost. Cheaper mechanical knees are available, but they don't work for her. When I was using the very basic knee from Alberta Aids to Daily Living, I actually fell a ton because the knee is simply activated by putting weight on the toe. The whole knee collapses, and until you kick it forward again, it stays collapsed. Thanks to fundraising and a loan from her employer, Oakley paid for the new knee. But it's not a long-term solution. So the knees are only insured for six years. After that, they're off insurance. Most people say they get about 10 years out of them, which I would hope. Um, but still, I mean, that's me buying maybe five to eight more knees in my lifetime. She's asking Alberta Health to change prosthetic coverage. It's a battle 31-year-old Ben Pru has been fighting for most of his life. I've met with MPs. I've met with MLAs. I've met with pretty much everybody I can think of or that I can get in contact with. And it doesn't go anywhere. Prue lost a leg to cancer as a child. Thanks to fundraising and the war amps, he's used this computerized knee for the past six years. So the, the main function of my leg is that it will read the speed at which I'm walking or running and adjust the knee resistance accordingly. And it helps with, um, with things like keeping me from falling. Like Oakley, he worries how long this knee will last and how much a new one will cost. It gets very demoralizing over time to, to wonder, hey, where's my next body part going to come from when that's really not something that you should have to worry about. This doctor says it's time for the province to change its policy. In England, they've actually mandated uh, complete coverage for even these advanced prosthetic devices because they've been repeatedly demonstrated to save uh, significant sums of money. A spokesperson for Alberta Health said the program is meant to meet amputees' basic needs. But amputees say the policy is outdated, so they're left fundraising thousands of dollars just to pay for their own mobility. Madeline Cummings, CBC News, Edmonton.